Is it, it, did it work? I think it might have worked. Hang on a second. This is, oh, it's too loud. Wait, can you hear me? Can everybody hear this? Sorry, don't yell. I can't help but yell. I'm sorry. But, okay, I'm going to put this over here. I'll put this down like, like that. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to the Delicious Goodness. That's my channel. My name is Mike, and we are back with more Break Walter's Early Access. Sorry, I got to just to tip the camera a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. It's already crazy because I'm crazy and everything is bad, but it's also good because we are back with Break Walter's. And guess what? If you remember, last time we played this, there was a game breaking glitch. So I literally couldn't continue on that save. So I deleted it. Maybe it could have been saved somehow. I don't know. But from when I was in there, that was it. You were done. You couldn't do it. Is this working? Why did you close down, weird app? Okay, it is working. Great. Okay, good. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Welcome. It's Breakwaters. Mr. Delbert, how are you, son? Okay, so we're in here. Um, first glance, looks the same. But that's okay, because that's the base game. Now they're just approving little things around it. Now one thing that I did notice, first of all, the game seems like it's running much smoother. There used to be quite a bit of a choppy feel when you were running around like this, but it looks good. Now, one thing they updated was these I saw. I shouldn't have destroyed the entire plant, but... Yeah, you get water gel now, which is cool. You can actually drink it. Now, I don't know all the updates. I don't know all, all the updates and things that they have done. That's why we're here. We're going to discover all the little updates and things. Get some more water gel. And I'm going to actually leave the plant alive so that it can... Be fruitful and multiply the gel of water. Carter Crossing is here. What's up, Carter Crossing? How you doing? Oh, I kicked that man. Sorry. Okay. They added some gibberish voice acting. I love that. See, I can do it too. Chris. His name's Chris? Oh, thank goodness, there is someone else on this island. I'm an archaeologist studying the turtle titan you see in the distance. I tracked it and a relic to this island. I feel like the relic, the relics and the titans must be related to it. Huh? Help me find the relic and uncover the truth, and I will help you find a way off this island. Deal? Deal. Yeah, they updated the UI. Did you hear that? Though, before we get to that, you look like you could use some food and water. Okay. So they, yeah. I love that little voice acting. Carter Crossing says, when are you going to stream Animal Crossing? Soon. Really? Uh, I just haven't. That's all there is to it. I started a new island. So the one you visited before is no more. All those flowers, my flower field, it's gone. I started a new island. Because I, I wasn't appreciating my island. So I wanted to start fresh, start new. And care for my island very deeply. So when I do play Animal Crossing, you can see my new island. Anyways, enough of that island. Back to this island. Okay, here we go. So what do I need to do? Uh, close. Okay, and look at this. Okay, I'm really hungry and thirsty. Right when I cut down bushes to find berries to eat and hit palm trees and knock down coconuts to drink. Okay, so we already got some berries. Let's get a couple more berries. Oh, rats! The rats! You're not going to get me this time, Rep. Did we just witness? We just witnessed the plant came back in front of our eyes. Wow. It should happen just like that. Okay. Well, we got both. So we'll drink that. Okay, they added like these little plus signs next to the uh, food and water meters when you eat stuff. That's cool. Did you find the supplies? I did. 
Berries from bushes will regain food. Coconuts from trees will regain water. Eating meat will regain health. There are multiple food sources in the world. Be careful as sprinting will make you thirsty faster. Oh, we got a pouch. Okay, good. Berries and coconuts. Not the most gourmet thing in the world, but it's enough to keep you going. It looks like you could use some more inventory space. Here's a small pouch that should help you along your way. Now let's get to work. Now that's new, I believe. We never had the person give us a, uh, a pouch before. Usually we crafted that, right? Go ahead and equip that. Okay, cool. All right. So let's get started here. Yeah? I'm going to craft this real quick. So we just need crab shell and seagrass. And then we'll come back and talk to the guy. There's seagrass all around. How do you sprint? I don't even know how to sprint. Okay. It's L1. Or... LB? I'm using an Xbox controller. I don't know the names of all these buttons anymore. I think it's LB. Left bumper. Left bumper to sprint. I'm using a controller, yes, and I'm playing it on PC, yes. I'm not very good with the mouse and keyboard. As you may have heard me say many times in the past, I just don't do good with them. Because, growing up, I was a console gamer, so just no experience playing with mouse and keyboard. So when I try to do it now, it's laughable. Yes. Okay. So we got a dead rat. That's always good. Uh, crab? Mr. Crab, where you at? Mr. Mr. Is that a Mr. Mr. Crab? Is my face too big? I don't know. No, it looks all right. Okay. Is there crabs? I'm just looking for... Okay, there's a chicken on the beach. Are you drowning, chicken? Oh, you're good. Okay. Oh! They added crystal crabs. And they make the water move. That's so cool. Look at the little crystal clay. What up, Delbert? It's Delbert. I'm going to kill you, Delbert. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Crab shell and crystals. Excellent. Can I come in here? Yes, I can. Boom. Equip that. Excellent. Now we got a weapon. Getting all sorts of goodies. Wow. Wow. We got two full water bottles, water gel, coconuts. I mean, we're good. So they made... Okay. Interesting. So it seems to me that they made the survival aspect just a little bit easier from the outset. And I like that the crabs give you crystals now. That's kind of cool. But yeah, it just seems like, uh, I don't know, there's more ways to get water now, and let me test something. I could be wrong, but it seems as though the food actually refills a lot more of your food meter than before. Could be just me misremembering, but I don't know, it seems like it's better. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right, young sir. Chris, what you got for me? My research says the relic will be buried at a ruin site made of Titan stone. The Titan stone ruins. The Titan stone is unbreakable, but that is okay. We won't need to. Treasures like this one were blocked by the ancients. We will need to prepare before we seek the treasure at the Titan stone ruins. First, we are going to need a builder's bench. You can craft one from the base crafts menu. You can also see what resources are required to craft it from that menu. Why, thank you very much. Seagrass. We need a, little, a few more sticks, which we should be able to get right here. Is that enough? Yep. Excellent. Bam. Stick this right over here by the guy. All right, now it's really, whoa, new hat alert, new hat alert, at least since I've seen it. Okay, calm down, watch. Okay, spider silk hat, ooh, shields now, shields, we could totally make these too, that's cool. 
So the net bag is eight slots, so it adds three more. Okay. We got a... Oh, look at these. Backpack, torch backpack, black metal backpack, black metal backpack with a flyer fly 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 on it. So you're losing a slot by making that one. But there's a torch backpack. I do remember seeing images of uh, a new backpack that actually has weighted shoes? Spider silk shoes. Gives you that sinking feeling. So wait a minute, you can use these shoes to sink in the water? <gasps> Sorry, okay. I'm freaking out a little bit because there's all these new things and I love it so much. Okay, the boat dock. Solar still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Picnic table bed, ba 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 ba. Not too much different there. Okay, wow. I think I remember those. Okay. Nothing crazy, super different. Let's go into our stats. Looks like we can uh, inventory bonus. Two inventory bonuses because that is the thing that we run out of the most early on in the game so might as well get that upgraded so we don't really have to worry about too much in the way of inventory did they tweak the rats I don't know they <laughs> I remember before the rats would like immediately attack you it doesn't seem to be the case right now I don't know Okay, I'm full up on sticks. Okay, I did. Were you able to build a builder's bench? Yep. You'll need one in order to create the refined yellow crystals. Remember, once you have the resources, you can craft it from the base crafts menu. Create the refined... Okay. Yeah. Got it. Great. There's a whole bunch of really cool stuff you can build from the builder's bench, including more advanced benches. Make sure to look through the different pages to see what you can build. Now onto the real magic, or crystals in this case. Come back, Chris! What? Okay, we're going to need to craft a few refined yellow crystals. The ancients who built the ruins Use the water to protect their secrets. The refined yellow crystals will push the water back so you can find what is buried there. Refined yellow crystals can be crafted in the builder's bench on the first page of the table's book of contents. All the resources you need are here on the island. You can break the crystals found around the island and find glass bottles washed up along the shore. I mean, I'm way ahead of you, man. I got all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I... Okay. Let me see what I need. I forget how much you need of stuff. Okay, so let's see. What do we... Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so... I need two empty bottles. Got it. Well, first things first. Go ahead and drop that. We don't need that. Don't drop that. We don't need that either. Don't drop that. We don't need it. And drop all these bones. Don't need those. And the dead rats. Don't need those. Drink, drink. Now we can craft two of those. One, two, done. Boop. Hey, Chris! I did it. Did you ever... Did you craft those? Yes. We're going to need at least two of them. Yeah. Were you able to craft? Yes. Got it. Yep. Uh, crystals can be found on most islands, but some islands only have specific resources. Make sure you travel to different islands to see what resources they have. Now take my treasure map and shovel. If you use the treasure map, you can see where I think the relic is buried. When you get there, you will need to use the shovel to dig up whatever is buried there. Be careful. There are more dangers than just the water lurking about. Ooh. All right, Mr. Delbert, your demise is coming. Oh, sorry. Titan Relic Treasure Map. 
to my immediate left. Ah, just there. Okay, we still got a couple empty spaces. That's good. Just eat all those to clear up space because we don't really need them. We don't really need the coconuts. We're not thirsty. We've got plenty of water. Or water products, I should say. Sorry. I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to do the accent. It just comes out. You you know this. Anyways. What was that? Delbert, don't hurt me. I really don't want to do this at night, but... Uh, hey! Did you... I have no quarrel with you. I ain't got no beef. There is no beef. I have no cre Oh, that creeped me out. I was like, what is in there? Okay, so the X marks the spot. Okay, go ahead and use both. Shovel. There's a chicken in here with me. And the chicken is pissed! Oh, God. Oh, there's the spiders. Oh, yep. Everything's happening. Spiders at night! And Delbert's angry. Hey, you're so angry, Delbert. Oh, I got my shovel out. I'm sorry, spiders. I did not mean to dig in front of you. It's just horribly bad manners on my part. I meant to get out my axe so I could beat your axe. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Look at them fly around like little spiders they are. Ah! Whoo! Scare me. Gosh, I remember when I first saw these spiders and they came out. It was very scary, it was. Now I am not scared of you. Anybody else? Any other shrieking sp Oh, Jesus! It's called the- Oh, gosh! That got more intense. Okay. We're just gonna run away from this guy. We're sliding. Okay. Well, I... Okay, I did get it. Woo! Scared me. Couldn't see it in my inventory. It's actually over there on the left under quest items. I see you there, sir. I'm coming. Yeah, your... Your thirst really goes down when you sprint. Makes sense. All right, an archaeologist, an archaeologist, yes, because that's how you say it. Oh, an archaeologist effort. Reward, map. Did you find the Titan Stone ruins yet? They are around here someplace. Keep looking. Remember to use the refined yellow crystals to push away the water. If you need to, you can always craft more. Dig, yes. You're back! Oh, I got the boat flare blueprint. Boat, blood flare, blood flare. You're back! I was worried that Titan might have killed you when I saw it attack. What did you find? Oh my, this is incredible. I have never seen a Titan relic before. Hmm. I need you to take this Titan relic to my brother, Shu. He will be on a large island around, around the Titan stone ruins on that island. To get off this island, normally you would use your boat, but you don't have a boat, so you will need to build a flare to call a trader to the island. They will be more than happy to transport you to a large island for a price. Here, I will give you the blueprint that will teach you how to make a flare. You should find it in your base crafts after you learn it. Gather supplies from around the island to create a flare from your base crafts. Good luck. Thank you, Chris. Harvest fireflies. No. I'm not going to do that yet. 
Okay. So next we must learn. There we go. Is it the same? Pretty much. Okay. We need to get a few more yellow shards. And we will get some fire coral. And that should be it. And we should be off to the next place. Which is quite, quite awesome. I'm going to get a whole bunch of seagrass before we go. Because we know how, to much, how much we need that stuff. Oh, there's mussels there. Yeah, you're dead too, Krabby. Gotta get all your goodies. Yellow shards, perfect. Eh, don't need that. Ooh, I'll take those. Sure. Do this till I can't carry more. What do we got here? Okay, so, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to keep all this stuff here. Oh. A lot of crystals over here on this big old beach, you guys. A lot of crabs. Is this where you guys kind of hang out? I see that. It looks nice. Fred? Wilma, Bam Bam, good for you, good for you, good for you guys. Coconut, what else can I drop? I can just eat this. Plenty of that, crab shell, don't really need that. I do need to find... Some fire coral, although it seems as though it is high tide, which is not conducive to finding fire coral, because it is generally in the deep deeps. We will have three slots full of seagrass, which is good, because you need it for, like, everything, unless they change it. Watch them, like, change it so you don't need seagrass for, like, anything. <laughs> that would be funny. All right, so... Fire coral, where are you? Fire coral. It's interesting that they did away with um, the whole idea of those yellow crystal staffs in the beginning. Because, I mean, really early on, you were required to craft, I think, like two yellow crystal staffs, or maybe he gives you them. I don't remember, honestly, but. I guess it makes sense that they would do away with that because you don't really, you're not really going to be on this island very long. And so giving you an item that you either have to keep out, I mean, you can't pick it back up and put it in your pocket is what I'm getting at, right? So you build the yellow crystal staff and it is a staff that you put in the ground and you can move it, but you can't bring it on a boat. Or put it in a chest. So it's like you would just have to redestroy it. So I guess I understand why they didn't. But all right, I think that's enough. Yeah. Once open reveals a treasure and is no longer valuable. Okay then. So I can just go ahead and drop it then. Because we just don't need that. Good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Four berries did half my health. That seems different. But, you know, I'm not going to jinx anything. And I have four jars of water. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're pretty good. Let's build this boat flare. Okay. I built four boat flares. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Uh, sorry, crabs. I'm going to come raid your beach now. For the yellow crystals. I need. Thank you. Game looks great, though. Still looks good. 
And the graphics aren't the best in this game by any means, but it looks good. Like, I just like it. All right. I'm going to go over here on the... Oh, that's not even a crystal. I thought it was. Sorry about that. Look, oh, there's a crystal over here. You guys don't need this one. I'm trying to be courteous to you guys. I'm trying to be a little bit courteous. Ooh, we got a big one too, huh? Oh, they're chasing me. I'm being chastened. I've been... I have been been chastened. I don't know how much it costs to get to the other island. Um, so, we'll just get like 20. Oh. Big money there. 22. Done. Yeah. I mean... I'm going to drop those. Uh, okay. What is this? Dropped items. What are they? Sand. Okay. So... Let's go. Go to the other island. Here we go. Holy crap. There's two pine tree islands in the distance. Hopefully they take me to the right one. Mr. Delbert, I'll be with you shortly. Probably not going to be killing Delbert in this video. No. Takes a good four or five hours of gameplay to get to that point, I would think. Could be wrong. Oh, God, the sharks. I forgot about the sharks. Shoot that flare. Where's my Betty? There he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Ahoy. Travel. Frightening Island? Do I have to? Frightening island. Why would it be frightening? I am not frightened. Not right now, no. Can you guys hear it okay? Does it sound good? Let's see. Sounds good to me. Ha ha. Okay. Ah, very good. Very good. So there's the place where we need to go to put the thing to draw the Titan in to raise the walls, right? Or whatever. That's, that's, that island is integral. In integral, integral to the whole defeating Delbert situation. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is basically going to be our hub island for the foreseeable future until they add the Serpent Titan. All ashore, except me, of course. Where are you going, sir? His boat is magic. Yeah, see, this is pretty great. I mean, there's these water plants all over the place. Unlimited water. What were... Captain's log... Cap... Captain's log? Uh, can you leave me alone, please? I'm trying to figure out his captain's log. Dude. Yeah. It's like F off, dude. We'll just go ahead and leave the meats. This looks actually like a pretty good place for an initial base. Close to the uh, shoreline. Ooh, that tide's coming in. Let's get this captain's log.
Oh, that's not it. Where is it? Is this it? Captain's log. Okay. Oh, what? We got story stuff. Log of Captain Kelvin Heckinger. 12th of spring, year 101,510? <laughs> That's a long time of recorded history. Rumors abound of these lands in the explorer community. They finally lured me here like a moth to the flame. This land is as stunning as it is peculiar. A tropical paradise for certain, but the sea breeze carries hints of berries somehow. And somehow oak. A cupped handful of ocean water provides respite to a parched throat, but brings with it a dubiously fuzzy feeling to the mind and extremities. Could it be tainted? The main attraction so far is the crystals. Unlike any earthen treasures I have encountered, bright and abundant, I'm finding evidence they literally interact with the elements here. I must know more. 17th of spring, year 101, 510. So, five days later. I discovered two types of crystal so far, one azure in color and another amber. So azure is blue. For those of you that uh, don't know that, uh, yes. In many different languages, azure, A-Z-U something something, usually means blue. Like in Spanish, it is azul, I think, but I could be wrong about that because I don't speak Spanish. Not fluent. No, no, no. I know how that must sound, that inanimate stones are somehow more than they appear on the surface, but I feel the tempest is somehow harnessed inside each crystal shard. The golden crystals repel ocean water with magnificent force. Why fresh water is unaffected is still unknown. There is much to learn from study of these fantastic stones. Oh, wait a minute. This was a, this is a new development. Fresh water is unaffected from the stones. We haven't encountered that, I guess. Because all we've seen is ocean water. That's interesting. There is much to learn from study of these fantastic stones. A less scientific mind might consider this magic. While mysteries of the crystals taunt me, other mysteries are stacking up. Why would the permeation of flora and fauna be so stunned on these stunted on these islands? The lack of bounty is curious for lands as aged and tropical as these. Also, I woke in a cold sweat this morn, the victim of my own wild imagination. I dreamt of a towering monster shadowing my explorations here. Now I cannot shake the feeling I am being watched. Being watched. Oh, I fret not, my good sir. Captain's log. Captain's log. Should I be keeping the captain's logs? I don't want to waste anything. Drop the sticks. Okay. Captain's log number two. The trees are moving, not swaying in the wind, but walking. The trees here can walk, for lack of a better term. Surely my vision is playing tricks on me and the fuzzy numbness drinking the water provides is to blame. Those were my first assessments. Now I realize the blue crystals, once infused in a tree, give them a base motivation to search for more water and an understanding of basic locomotion. Wild stuff. I also came across the remnant, remnants of a settlement. Wiped off the face of the earth in one fell swoop, a monolith stood near the splinters and charred logs with words describing how long the settlement lasted and that a titan brought it to a violent end. The monolith implies survivors. Where did they go? So the natives call them titans. Why would a titan destroy a settlement? I very much like this. I think it's very cool. Let's put a bench right here. It's a good spot. Um, so I gotta go pick up my sticks. Gotta go pick up my sticks. 
in my sticks. So, I'm gonna drop the yellow crystals, pick up all the sticks. I There's an abundance of yellow crystals. I'm not too worried about that. If we don't ever recover those again. But it should be pretty easy to recover those again. So I'm not worried about it. Anyway, let's go in a little bit. Let's drop those there. Those are actually... I want to keep those because those are cool. Cool little pieces of lore there. Perfect. Take the meats. Okay. Now the next most important thing. Well, that. And that. Let's go ahead and build that. Excellent. And... That. Excellent. Put on my hat. Very good. Now. Wood crate. This is all going perfectly. They... They messed with this. This is not what this used to cost. I don't think. I could be totally wrong. But this used to be like 10 tree branches and 10 seagrass. Now it's 2 seagrass and 10 sticks. Interesting change, but looks good. I could literally make a tiki torch crystal before I can make the tiki torch. That's funny. Wood crate. Oh, what? Okay, so I need more sticks. Well, I've got a crate, so there's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'll take it. Put it right here. Ooh. Good amount of room in there. I like that. Okay. Sticks and seagrass and bottles and shards and the pouch and all the things can go in. Captain's logs. I will have a chest just for you when the time comes. Here we go. That's very good. Okay. So now we, we'll put that in there. This is the essentials. Ooh, stats are up. Let's go. Uh, inventory bonus. Yep. That's like the most important. The rest of the stuff is pretty manageable, I think. Um, but yeah. I love that there's no rush for a... Um, I just got a water plant seed. That's awesome can plant more. Oh. So this is actually really cool because they're giving you options to... Wait, what is that? Okay, that's a water plant stuck inside of a bush. I was freaking out for a minute. I was like, is that a new creature? No, it's inside of a bush. And as I understand it, and I know that I've mentioned this before in the past, but one of the updates that they're working on, first of all, they're working on several things, bunches of things, but they're immediately working on a creative mode, which I think will be fun, especially in a game like this where, well, maybe this isn't accurate, but it seems to me you don't get a lot of chances to flex your creative muscles when you're focused on you know, doing the story and everything like that. But, you know, if you were just messing with, like, the beta version like I was and just spending hours upon hours just harvesting trees, you I mean, you can do that. And so the creative mode, I think, will be really cool because you can really go nuts. Like, you, this whole island, you could make a, a house the size of the island floating above all the trees. Like, uh, that would be kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. All right. So we're getting bones, water plant seeds. What? You can eat the seeds. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. 
Okay. Well, I mean, we got plenty of water. That's like the first time, for the first time, coming to the Pine Tree Islands with plenty of water. Who does that? Okay. So, I'm going to need cloth bag, 60 seagrass, 20 sticks, 3 crab shells. Okay. So, I need to get seagrass sticks. Seagrass and sticks, seagrass and sticks. Redstone for a fire pit for food. It's not super important right away, but. Okay, refinery, uh, hardwood, iron, ore, redstone. Okay. So, okay, the priority right now is to get sticks and seagrass. And since there's seagrass available right now, we will go harvest all of this. So, nope. Still need tons of seagrass, which is fine. Once you know the easy ways to get seagrass, it's not really a big thing. It's just sort of tedious, you know. But it is a little bit satisfying. I mean, one big sweep and you, you know, you... I didn't want to kill you, crab, but you know, you, you're making it real hard. You're a big guy, too. You're doing nine damage. Holy crap, you're a bigger crab than me. I'm not a crab, but you, you, you know what I meant. Right, crab? You're a bigger crab than I am a human. That's what I meant. Ooh. What a bow. A cautionary tale? What? what, what, what? There's the freaky freakies. The freaky treepies. They're just a little bit scary. I'm actually curious to read this cautionary tale, though. Hey! Oh! Oh, okay. There's a lot going on over here. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting the crap scared out of me. Everything's happening. Okay. We do need sticks, so we'll go ahead and grab these. And it never hurts to get berries, that's for sure. Okay, okay, test. Is he gonna straight up attack me? Hey, so they changed the rat, the rat's behavior. Just acting like a rat. Maybe I'll just leave you be then. Yeah, I'll kill you. I'll just take your meats. It's no big deal. Generally, I like my animals to stay alive, but when it's a game, it's I guess it's okay. <laughs> sticks are full. 31 sticks. All right. So the next step I want to craft at least like four more crates. I mean, we're I mean we're gonna need them, so we might as well. Did they update? I think they did. They most certainly well. I think they might be in the process of improving the ships because the ships don't look like they did before. Before they looked like this really dark brown, not very weathered looking wrecked ship. Now it's like a low-res texture weathering of the way the ship looks. So it, it looks more weathered, but then you get up close and you're like, oh, that's just a really low-resolution texture they put on there. <laughs> so I'm sure they're in the process. Maybe, I, I mean, who knows, but that's what my assumption would be. Okay. Before we do anything else, let's go up. Okay, we got a cautionary tale. I'm really curious to see what that's about. Dead rats can go in, meat can go in, bones can go in. And the fine sand can go in if there would be room, but there is not, of course. So what did it say the trees were looking for? That's really interesting to think about. One, two, 
three. Okay, we need a lot more sticks. Got it. A lot more sticks. Got almost enough seagrass for the next level up of the pouch, which is really good. So I guess I'll just do that. <laughs> Gotta be perfect. There we go. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do... Oh, no, no, no. I want to read that first. Okay. So this slot will be for... I don't know. Rock type things, right? So let's get these out. Get those out. Okay. Before we do anything else, I want to read this. Cautionary tale number one. Crystals. There once was a young and foolish boy who loved to collect crystals. He was drawn to their brilliant colors and powerful auras. When the elders found out what he was doing, they ordered him to stop. They warned him of the dangers of the crystals and playing with a power he couldn't understand. They spread his collection deep in the ocean and forbid him from collecting the crystals anymore. Well, the boy couldn't understand why they wanted to ruin his fun. It was just a simple collection, he thought. They don't know what they're talking about. He resumed collecting the crystals and building up his stockpile once again. This time, bigger and better than ever. And of course, more hidden. Eventually, the boy goes missing. Searchers desperately looked for hours until they finally found his sandals. All that was left of him. Next to the disintegrated charge of his collection. Both charred by the telltale beam blast of a titan. Okay. So what you're saying is that the titan... Didn't like you very much, I guess. So, plant stuff can go in this crate. In this crate, I want to put my books and maps. That looks good. That's a rock one. And this will be animal products. For right now. So, dead rats, bones, meats, animal products. Plant products go in there. That includes sticks. Uh, I'm going to throw my boat flares into the map section. Okay. Animal products. I'm going to throw these empty bottles in there. And this in here, that's a plant product, and the pouch. This is sort of like a hodgepodge crafted item slash useful item slash other things will be in there. Okay, so let's get some more sticks. And we will craft more, what do you want to call them, crates as we need them. Well, I already love the changes they've made, um, the simple ones. I mean, just the fact that the water plants actually do something now, that's pretty cool to me. I mean, it's a simple thing, but it's cool, I, I, I think. I mean, it's so much easier to find bones and water now, which I just, yeah. It's just so funny. Because I don't need to craft a solar still for a while. If ever, honestly. I mean, why would you need one? Unless you could just get tired of finding a water plant. But they grow back. So, they're right here. Yeah, I went about, uh, about a quarter of the way. So, four water gels is a full thing. That's... That's pretty good, especially when you get two from one plant, and there's plants everywhere. Okay. Mm. 
And the berries are obviously amazing. Hello, rat. It's not your lucky day, unfortunately. Because I am on a killing rampage of rats. I'll be eating good. Like Demolition Man. This is a rat burger? Not bad. Never in my life have I wanted a rat burger as much as I did when I watched The Demolition Man. With Sly Stallone. That's right. If you haven't watched that movie, you better watch it because it's awesome. Thirty-one sticks, or is that just how much I can carry in a slot? Okay, that one doesn't break. That one doesn't break. Okay, I have sixty-two plus twenty eighty-four. Wow, got it. Excellent. Okay, take those back. Take that back. I wonder if they changed the... Ooh. The ship is, like, just busted right in half. Yeah, I think... Yeah, they're... Yeah. I mean, who knows if they're going to improve this look. I think it looks better than it did before because it actually shows that it's sort of weathered, like I was saying. <laughs> it's just a very low-resolution texture pack. So I would imagine that's going to change, but... I don't want to presume to know anything. Excellent. Good. All right. Let's organize a little bit. Water plant leaf. Ex excellent. 50 berries. Never hurt anybody. Actually, I'm going to get that out to eat those. Any other water, I mean, plant stuff? No? Okay. Hodgepodge. Bang, bang, boom. I'm running out of room. I got too many maps here. Need a crate just for maps, I guess. Bones go in there. Yellow crystals go in here. These have not been broken up into shards yet. I forget how many you get. When you break them down, I don't remember, but looks good. Okay, so eat that. That does food and water, but not very much. Okay. Now we're full up. Excellent. Let's get out the seagrass here. Craft a... Wait. Okay. I gotta get the crab stuff. I forgot about the crab stuff. Excuse me, crabbies. Oh, you look like... A fine trio of crabs that I would like to kill. Oh, these things got health for days. What? Oh, I thought I got two for a second. Nope. Oh! Dang, man. Crabs pack a punch nowadays. Yes, come away from there. Yeah, okay. I don't think I can avoid being hit, so just go ham. Go ham. My hammock is next, because that's health. Oh, got two from that one. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we should build a cloth bag, a hammock. So let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Yep. Cloth bag for the win. Yeah, look at that. So much better. Wow. And we'll come down here and look at the hammock. And I have enough. And I'll build three more wood crates for good measure. So, here's what we're going to do. Put the hammock right up here. Sleep in the hammock for the health gains. That's a terrible song. I... Good job. Look at this. I'm doing good, y'all. Picture perfect. What? Ah, I have slept. I feel better. Okay. Go ahead and put these crates down here. Uh, okay. Guess I'll have to turn the other ones. This, 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 this which, which way is the front? Okay, this way is the front. There we go. Okay. Boom. Get, tree, you better stop it. You better stop it. You better stop it right now, tree. Okay, so where are we at? What do we need to do? What do we need? What? what? Okay. First thing we're going to do, switch this around a little bit. Net bag goes in here. It's a crafted item. Crafted items go in their own bin. Okay? Crafted items get their own bin. So that's you two. Done. Good. And... Treasure maps will go in here, along with empty bottles. And this whole crate will be for books, because that's a new thing. That's fun. Okay, so we'll put that and that in there. Okay, so what is next on the docket? Whoa, repair hammer. Oh, good. So now you can repair your stuff. That's cool. I think we should... We should get a refinery. I mean, uh, yeah. A fire pit and a refinery. So we need a total of nine redstone. Hardwood and iron. So we'll be looking around here. First thing I'm going to do... Chop these down. Let's get our wood. Tree sap, good. Need that. There's no wood coming out. Of okay, there we go. <laughs> like where, 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 where is the wood? We need the wood. Where, where is? It? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Did they just straight up get rid of tree branches? Did I know that? The last time I played this was the castles, the stone and castle update thing. Video that I had made months ago, but... Huh. Interesting. I do not recall that. Okay. So basically the point of this gameplay is just to get back to a place where my base is sort of... Well, okay. Today's video, the one I'm playing right now, is just to sort of get back on track as much as I can. And then the following videos will be to uh, take down Delbert once more. And basically get back to where I was last time before the 
game-breaking glitch happened again. Aim over here so we don't hit our bins. Uh, I don't know what I just did, but that's okay. Oh, I took everything from... Okay. Not that big a deal. All right, where's our plant crate? That's an empty crate. That's a plant crate. Sticks. Uh, softwood can go right in because I don't need it. Um, sure, that works for me. Eat some foods. Oh, I kicked my bench. I forgot there's a kick button now. <laughs> All right, so let us see what we need here. Uh, hardwood, okay, we've got enough. So we have to go get our stone. But what do we need to build a hammer? Stone hammer. Redstones, sticks, seagrass. Okay. So basically I need to get redstones. And some more sticks and some more seagrass. Shouldn't be an issue. Seagrass right here. We already have enough, but just as an extra cushion... We will surely need more. Excuse me? Okay. I'm like, who's busting out of rocks? I'm not going to kill you guys yet. I don't have good weapons. I could do it, but I don't want to. And y'all are just chilling. Why would I mess that up? Thank you for the drinking water. All right. So these bushes, yeah, those are, those bushes stay. <laughs> okay. Get some sticks from these bushes real quick. Perfect. This might take a minute. Here we go. Brian... Brian's in the chat. What's up, dude? How are you? I am fine. I'm doing well. I, uh, yeah, great. I had a good dinner. My dinner was delicious. It was like a maple miso glazed Brussels sprout and mushroom rice dish. It was really yummy. Not my creation. I followed a recipe. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's a quiet chat there, Brian. It's a quiet chat, but that's okay. No worries. I recognize that I stream at difficult times for people to watch, but... Okay, so we got eight redstone so far. So, what I'm going to build first is... Stone hammer. Stone at... Oh, okay. Well, we just upgraded some tools. Love it. So the old ones will go in the crafted menu, or crafted thing, that thing there, yep. Stone hammer, excellent. All right, let's go get some more redstones. I hope you're doing good there, Mr. Brian. How is your evening or morning or wherever you are? I don't know. It could be any time of day wherever you are. It's a cool thing about doing like the YouTubes. International audience. <laughs> are we friends? No, we're not friends. We're not friends. I thought we were past this. No. I'm swimming away. You see what I'm doing? I'm running away from you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll venture up here then. We'll get some more redstones, and we will be off to the races, so to speak. There. Excellent. Okay, we got our green dudes. 
Oh, the game's slowing down a little bit. Okay. Oh, we got pirates! You just... Sh you shot an arrow into the goo, man. That's hilarious. Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening right now. I'm not sure how to deal with it. Okay, here we go. Axe! They're ganging up on me. It's not fair. Hey, the pirate's name is Michael. That's my name. Oh, God. Yeah, this is, uh, this might be death. Let me just kill Michael here. There we go. Good job, Michael. You put up a good fight. You just shoved a rock in the, this dude. Okay. Can I? Oh, I can. All right, that's enough. All right. When did you get to traveling? They can travel? When did that happen? Are you going back to where you're going? Okay, good. <laughs> I thought he was running after me for a second there. I'm like freaking out, man. All right, stone hammer time. Trees are still moving. I'll never be comfortable with that. It's just one of those things. It, it, okay. Um, how many stones do we need? How many do we got? Let's see. Mm, I think we have enough. But let's destroy this rock just for good measure. And then we will go back and we will craft a refinery and a fire pit. And we'll be another step closer to where we need to be to kill Delbert. I'm going to focus on the crafting mostly in this video and in the next video I will do more of the missions like raise the cage and things like that but I want to get a lot of crafting done to get it out of the way because I know that that takes up most of the time so as much as I can craft I will and I'm hoping I am going back to where all my stuff is, but I don't know if I am. Yeah, okay, good. It's hard to tell because you got to use this the little mini-map. And stuff that you craft and place on the ground are represented on the mini-map of like those little gray squares. But there's a lot of gray squares on the map that I did not make there. So it's like a guessing game which one's yours. But I found it. No big deal. Okay. Fire pit, yes. Roasting pit right away. Heck yes. That's even better. Cooking in bulk, baby. Hmm. Yes. All right. Now, what does the refinery need? Oh, iron. That's right. I've got enough of everything else. Picnic table. Do I have enough? Six, five, ten. Yeah. I'll go ahead and build a picnic table. Put that down over here for the eating. Ah, look at this. It's an open air concept home. I don't know if you could tell. It's an open air, there's no walls. I want it to be really open to the nature and the environment. I just want it to be open. Okay, I guess we're hunting for some iron here. I know there's some over there, but there's also Big Man, so I have to scout it out. Scout it out on another part of the island. We need at least like six iron, so... It might be a couple of iron rocks. Usually they're sort of peppered throughout the, the island. But we'll see. See if I got a good island for iron. 
Because iron's one of those materials that you can buy it from the shops once you get to go into the shops. But uh, it is a hard material to find. One of, one of the harder ones, I should say. But then once you get... Oh! There it is. The lovely iron rock. Ah. I will take all the iron. All right. It's not enough iron, so we're going to have to search for some more, I believe. Yeah, four I don't think is enough. It could be. But we might as well get more, just in case. There's nothing worse than traveling all the way back to your bench and realizing you don't have enough materials. So... I will be extra sure. Alright, the game's slowing down a little bit. That's okay. At least it's not, like, choppy. Hopefully it doesn't keep this up. Okay, yeah, because there was a, a pretty noticeable issue of it being real choppy. Especially when on these heavily wooded islands, but... Seems to be okay. Not too bad now. Gets a little slow, but is this the magic conch? I don't want to interact with it yet in case I screw it up. But this is like a special place. Mags is in the house. Good morning. Oh, is it morning for you? Where do you live? Sorry. Personal. Too personal of a question. But what is your time zone? I mean, what time, like, what time is it there? Because that's cool. It's like, are you like Australia? Or like Zimbabwe? I don't know. Those are just the first two countries that came to mind. But that's one of the things I love about, oh, Iron Rock! That's one of the things I love about live streaming is because people will chime in and it's like, I'm from Peru. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Or I'm from Switzerland. And you're like, that's awesome. I love it. I love hearing about where people are from. All right, we've got seven iron. Should be enough. It's going to make our way back home. You're in the UK. It's 4 a.m. Well, welcome, Mags. Thanks for being here. You are up pretty early then, I would say. That's generally an early time to me. I, You know, I used to have a job. Where I'd have to get up at 3 a.m. Because work started at 4.30. But that was the earliest job I've ever had. Are you just up because you enjoy the dark mornings? <laughs> Is that... Anyways. I like to get up early. Not that early. But I don't like to waste my mornings. I'll say that. Stone arrow. Yes, please. I will take. Insomnia. Well, yes. I have that too. Wait a minute. Mags? How long have you had insomnia? I'm pretty sure you said you had insomnia in one of my streams before. You should take some, uh, some like, melatonin. Have you heard of that? It's like a, a sleepy a sleep aid vitamin. So it's not like a, a pharmaceutical. It's an over-the-counter. Just, it's like a, in your vitamin section. Sometimes it helps me. Sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it does. When I have insomnia. Hosgoth is here too. Welcome, Hosgoth. He's here, but he has no questions. Or she. He or she. I don't presume to know what gender everyone is. Someone could be a horse. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we've got plenty of iron. Uh, so we've got a refinery. So what does this allow us to do? Steel metal and black metal. Excellent. Over eight years now, but I like this time of day. I have the world to myself. 
I 100% agree with you, Mags. Sometimes when, like, I can't sleep and, like, I'll accidentally... I'll accidentally wake up at, like, 3 or 4 and I'm not tired anymore. I love that. It's, like, it's so quiet. Like, nothing's going on. Even outside. Nobody's on the roads. I love it. It's just so quiet. Everyone's sleeping. Yeah, it's like you get the time to yourself. But Hosgoth says nay very appropriately. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm getting distracted now. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, the first thing I would like to do, eat some foods, drink some gel. I wonder what the gel tastes like. I think it tastes like oregano or something. I Okay, so let's figure out where everything goes here. Redstone is a rock sort of product. So is iron, so that can all go in there. A fire... Wait, what? Wait. Doesn't... Wait. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. The forge costs the fire pit. I thought the roasting pit costed a fire pit. And I have the hiccups, okay? So I got to hold my breath. Get the hiccup. <laughs> oh. Okay. I got to hold my breath. Sorry, I was holding my breath. It sometimes it works. All right, so you use light wood, soft wood, I should say, to craft charcoal, and then I can come over here, take out my iron, and make steel. Ha ha ha! Excellent. I don't want to use up all my iron yet. Uh, and the charcoal's in there. Great, 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 great. That's all great. Now, forge. Redstone. Okay. So let's go get my redstone out. Should be able to build a forge. Yay! Forging time. Yes, that's right. Uh, I mean, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. It's all going to get changed once I build a house. So, haven't seen this stuff before. Black metal axe. That looks freaking cool. But what looks even cooler? Blue crystal sickle. A sickle. Great for harvesting fire flowers without them exploding. You just exploded my brain. That's possible? I love that. Oh my, we can make this like right now. I want to make this right now. Need some more wood. And we need blue shards. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, what what are we even talking about here? Brand new weapon? Yes. Uh <laughs> I'm like in I'm like a, a, a flabbergasted. The hiccups went away though, so that's good. Okay. Put all this stuff away. Okay. Where's my plant? Great. Is this? Yeah, good. 
softwood, hardwood, seagrass, seagrass. That's a plant. That goes. Animal crate? No, that's a books. That's nothing. That's animals. Okay. Uh, meats. That goes. Bones go. Arrows will go into the crafted section. How very perfect. Anyways, so I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but this is a new world created, and my name is simply DG for the delicious goodness, and the world, I was trying to be clever. Um, well, <laughs> trying to come up with a name for the world, for this world, and so, since it's an archipelago, I just named it Pelago. So, we live in the world of Pelago, since we're on an archipelago. So, that's uh, about the extent of my cleverness there. If it's even clever. It probably is. So, I'm not clever at all. Basically. Tree! Chop! Get it! Blue shards! Yes! <laughs> Sorry about that tree. Oh, are you freaking out? You're good? Okay, good. Usually if you chop it right in the middle here, it'll split, and then you can still get the double choppings. See? Double chop. Double chop. Double chop. Double chop. Double chop. Okay, we got a little double, double chop. There we go. And I will go out of my way to get rid of the trunk. Gotta keep up the aesthetics of the island. I mean, come on now. There we go. I think that's all we need for the sickle, right? I can't wait to have the sickle. The sickle's gonna be awesome! Mm, sickle. Why can't I make my Oh, seagrass. Where's my seagrass? Sea. Seagrass. You see, Red. Blue sickle. Whoa, dude. It's infused with the power of water because of the blue crystals. I love these elemental weapons based on the crystals. That's going to be so cool. I can't wait to see what more you can do with this type of stuff. Well, as cool as that is, I'm going to put it away. <laughs> because I don't really need it right now. Um, the only thing... Wait. 10 blue crystal damage, 1.2 times the speed. Whereas this is five chop damage. So it does double what my axe does, but this is also a weak axe. So it's kind of like... I will get this back out when I need to get my fire flowers. Because that will come into play later. It's just nice to have. I was just super excited about getting it. All right. So let's go organize a little bit again. That's what this game is, unfortunately. I actually don't have a problem with it, but... There is a lot of inventory management and stuff like that. So you kind of ought to, you kind of got to be on board with that in order to uh, enjoy this game. But, you know, I whipped these up in no time at all. And I'm just going to each individual crate to keep things separate. If you wanted to, you could just have three crates and shove everything inside the three crates. That's how I used to do it. But nowadays, I prefer to have everything separated so that it's just easier to manage to me. Okay. So, what is next? What do we need to do next? Okay. So we got the forge kitchen bench. We could pretty much build that, too. And the... Oh, yes. Wood plank nails and tree sap. The solar still. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you remember 
when you want to kill those green jelly dudes, you have to throw a, a blue crystal, a refined blue crystal, you know, bottle at them to make them. Will the sickle work on them the same way the blue crystal bottle did? I got to try this out. I just got to try it out. Come over here. Come here, you little jelly man. Yes. I'm getting weird, but that's okay. Because I am too excited. Also, you can just, like, lure the green jelly men into the water to uh, hurt them. Uh, what am I seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There's a skull on top of this. There's a skull. Is that clear? That's a skull. There's a skull right there on top of the jelly man. Oh, it's actually working. What? 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 Ah, I already got the use out of this. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to move these. Because um, they're amazing. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to come close to you. Just chill out, green guy. I'm going to move these all the way down to my base. There's another green jelly man. I will kill you with my sickle in a moment. Just wait. Just you wait. Nice. Yes. Thank you, Hosgoth. Thank you. That was a fine discovery, if I do say so myself. The sickle sword is a fine addition. Gone are the days where you must craft a refined blue crystal bottle to take care of the jelly man. Cool. So I can build a solar still pretty quick. So I want to build a solar still. You look like you're having trouble already, buddy. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right here. Where'd you go? Okay, I gotcha. Any more green jelly man? Want a piece? I don't think so. I got a sickle. <laughs> a sickle. That's fun to say. Sickle. Yeah. Let's move this one back. Oh, yes, thank you. Move this one back over to base. I know that's the mission guy. And once I talk to him, I can go get the magic conch shell and get all of that moving. But before I do that, I want to make sure I have everything crafted that I need. I want to at least get to having a boat dock. I can go for about 30 more minutes, so yeah. Should be able to get that done, I think. I think that having a boat dock would be great. Right out here. And I will... Probably build a base on the... Uh, boat dock this time just because I love that aesthetic just having it floating on the on the water I think that's so cool sea legend oh we got a new book got a new book got to read it the turtle titan I love these these were not here the last time I played I'm glad they added these it gives a lot of like lore and backstory which you don't really get it adds a lot of flavor I said that really kind of creepily but it, it, it. the turtle type when waves start to rise and fresh crystals you've snatched get fleet of foot and spy your adversary unmatched is this like a poem the many brave souls eager to challenge its power learned courage alone is no match for this tower Engulfed in light, your hide will burn from its blast. Move like the wind, or pounding fists, end you fast. If you tempt the fates, 
trying to settle the score. Your problems in this world will soon be no more. Well, I love that. That was lovely. <laughs> no, that was cool. I like it. Honestly, you know what it reminded me of? Uh, Jumanji. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Four books. Four books. I'll probably put the boat dock just right over here. Yeah, yeah, because that's the island I think we have to go to next to activate stuff because it's got the thing on it that you can see from a great distance. You can just barely see it. All right, crab. You want to go? I got a sickle. It does more damage. Oh, God! That scared me. <sighs> I know I could take him, but I don't want to take him right now. Go away! Don't come up behind me like that. I don't do well with the jump scares. Okay. Before we do anything else. I mean, the sickle is my best weapon. I'll put it up. I'll put it up. Don't really need it. All right. You jumped then too? <laughs> Thank you, Mags. I appreciate that. I get scared easily for jump scares. And uh, it's glad to know that you're got the, we're, we're the same. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Uh, solar still. Tree branches, redstone. Do I have those? Question. Aha! Tree branch. Redstone. I love it when you just have the things you need. I love it. Solar still. Boom. And that just unlocked all the water stuff. Wow. Okay. Uh... Kitchen bench. I should probably build this next, honestly. It doesn't take much. Okay. First things first. Oh. Stop kicking things! <laughs> Jeez. Alright. We'll go ahead and put you right there. Perfect. Um, okay. So we need to go get these kitchen bench three steel empty bottle uh okay so we need 10 seagrass five hardwood do we have the seagrass no we'll go get the seagrass and we've got the hardwood but we need more for the boat dock so we will wait on that we will just get some, get some wood from this guy. Blue crystal tree. Sorry, sentient tree, but I want your crystals. You didn't give me any crystals? Oh. Here we go. We'll get the double, double swipes. Double swipes. Double swipes. Double chop. Double chop. Perfect, perfect. Dude, this is the gold standard of swiping. Are you kidding me? Look at this swipes. Three swipes. Man. Like Paul Bunyan in here. He felled multiple trees with one swing of the axe. Now, it took me more than one swing, but it's pretty impressive. Okay. Three trees? I can't do that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get these chopped. Get these all chopped and picked up there. Uh-oh, I lost my double swipes. That's okay. 
There's a double swipes right here. Aha. Make do where you can. Well, we'll be good on wood for a while, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Depends on how much we start crafting and building, but for our purposes today, it should be enough. Good, good. Tree's moving. Where the heck is Delbert? Hey, Delbert! I don't see you, man. <laughs> Delbert, come back. So, put this in there. That's an animal product. Okay, kitchen bench. Should be able to do it. Wait, what else do I need? Oh, seagrass. Duh. Duh, you need a seagrass for your kitchen, man. Seagrass. Seagrass over here. Is the tide going in or is it going out? Because uh, I'd really like it if you could go out for me for a minute. I know I've got four in store or six in storage, so I have enough of seagrass right now, technically, but I might as well get as much as I can in this general area. Because, like I say, always be needing that seagrass. It is just one of those things. And it is very dark. Yeah, it's very dark in game. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully you can see what's going on. I am chopping down the seagrass. Nothing much to see. We leveled up, though. Cool. That's plenty. Plenty for my needs. I don't like the way that dude is standing over there in the distance like that. You can see? Okay, good. Oh, I'm a little bit hungry, though. That's full. Yes. Now that's full. Stats, inventory, yes, inventory, yes. <laughs> I just pour it all into inventory, man. Kitchen bench. Boom. Kitchen. We're going to be cooking in here. This is the kitchen over this way. So we got your food and your drinks and it's and the table and then you can go to sleep and then you can jump into the furnace and die no oh, okay here we go uh stone wall red it'll probably be a wooden house that we build because it'll be on the boat dock. And I don't think you can do stone on the boat dock. Unless they change stuff. Alright. So what do we need for the boat dock? Nails. We have plenty of tree sap. Wood planks. That should be easy enough to make. What do you need for that? Right here. Perfect. I don't know how much we needed, so... Full slot worth. Put some stuff away a little bit. Oops. Don't need all that or that or that or that. Sure. 
I think we did need iron for the nails, right? We have just enough. We had just enough iron to do this. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I totally, I, wow. Okay. I underestimated the amount of wood planks we would need. Should be enough there. Boat dock. Yay. Awesome. Let's go put it down. And see if they offer more boats. More of their boats. Get this uh, floated out of here a little bit. A little bit farther here. Over. That's pretty good, right? All right, so we got Explorer. Ooh, Hawk. This is the flying one. That's right. We did get the flying one last time. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just angry because we don't have it anymore, but I want it so bad. Okay, so. Black metal to get that. I don't even remember where to get black metal. Metal sheet for the traveler class. Okay, four contraption slots, 80 max speed, 12 max weight. Okay. So the tra... Yeah. Obviously, the explorer class is the easiest to get. Hot class seems to be the hardest. The metal sheets, I believe you can collect from defeating pirate towers. So it seems like I'm going to have to start with the Explorer class, no matter what. Maybe I could find black metal before we do anything with boats, but I, yeah. Don't remember exactly where to even get. Look at the, the way the water and the lighting works around these like little dips in the water. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. All right, so, I mean, we got everything we need. So, hang on. Let's organize. Organize again. I need some water. My throat is getting a little parched from talking. I don't talk ever, so when I do the videos, I talk, and so my throat hurts. But, yeah, during the day and around other people, I don't talk. Why? why? I don't talk to people. I'm just kidding. I have to talk to people, but generally I'm a shy person. Steel crate. Don't think I need that. Don't think I need a steel crate. Not right now, anyways. I can craft a backpack. <laughs> Done. Backpack, baby. Huh. Cool. Oh! Oh! That inventory space. Ooh. Okay, crafted things go in there. That means planks and steel and nails. Ooh, I'm going to need another crate pretty quick. Okay, so what I'm going to change is... Tools and weapons. Building materials go in this crate. Uh, weapons and tools and things like that will go in here. Problem solved. Done. Gonna need another plant box too, though. The plant box fills up pretty quick. And stone goes in there along with this. Pretty good. Pretty done. Yeah. It's raining over there. It's raining over there too. 
All right, let's take a look in the bench. I definitely want one of those torch backpacks. How do you build that? Torch backpack. You need a backpack, a stick, a torch, and seagrass. That's nothing. Should we just craft that? Wait. Torch. Gotta go find some pig poop. As one does, gotta find that pig poop. All right. Well, let's go hunting for poop. I don't know why, but it, that makes me smile. What are you hunting for? Poop? What? You heard me. I'm trying to find poop. Okay. So leave me alone to find my own poop. Okay. Not my poop, but poop that's out there that will be mine because I found it. If I wasn't clear enough before... I would like your poop. I thought I made that abundantly clear. This is that place. Poop? Where are all these freaking pigs at? It used to be just a used to be just a, a load of pigs on these islands. Oh, we had a little bit of pop in there. Does anybody see a pig? I don't see no pigs. Well, calm down, game. Okay, here we go. Piggy, piggy. Well, there's those fire flowers. Piggy? Pig? There's no... Is it still one Titan? It is. So there's only one Titan in the game. They are currently working on uh, the the Serpent Titan, the next Titan, um, and they're working on they're working on honestly a bunch of new enemy types. I sh shouldn't say a bunch. There's like one or two new enemy types they're going to implement. They're implementing a new Titan. They're going to implement a creative mode. Um, they're going to implement uh, free roaming titans. So the titans could just be roaming anywhere instead of just sticking around the one or two islands that they've been programmed to. So that's kind of cool. Um, there's a lot of other things listed in the updates that they're doing. I just can't remember for the life of me all of them. There's just too much. All right. I've never had this much trouble finding poop. straight oh wait I spy a pig hello my lovelies where is your poop ah very good thank you you have any more Pig poops. Any more? But yeah, they're okay. I think that's enough. Uh, they're they're adding quite a bit of cool things to the game. Um, I think they just added like a way to have. Oh, what am I doing? What? Why? 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 I'm distracted. Should not have gone this way. Just run. Jump, sprint, run, jump, sprint, run. Parkour, rock parkour, yeah. Can't catch me now. You still coming? Why are you, why? What are you doing? There's a pig pooping over there. This is not a chase. It is a chase! doing uh okay <laughs> 
That scared the crap out of me, man. You're not allowed to go out of your little rocky area, my guy. You have to stay over there, okay? Scary times. That was scary times. Holy crap. Well, it's scary because he could potentially destroy everything I just built. Okay, there's a lot of, like, clipping in going on. I don't know what's the deal with that, but hopefully they can patch that. Oh, wait. I've totally am like spacing out. Okay. Torch, two sticks, a seagrass, a pig poop. Uh, okay. I need to go into my plant. Yes. Tree sap, stick, seagrass. There we go. Okay. Should be able to build a torch. Now I should be able to build zero out of. W okay. Uh, okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, nope, 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 nope. Gotta actually take that and put that in now. Go like that. That way I get the backpack. Torch backpack. Yeah. That's so fun! That's so much fun. <laughs> Are you seeing what's going on with that? Hopefully that doesn't keep up. It's freaking me out. I love the little torch backpack. That's hilarious. It's like flopping all over the place. <laughs> That's cool. That is so neat. <laughs> I love it. That's a fun little thing they added. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tiki torch. Yay. Put it right there. Did I eat mushrooms? Like the psychedelic ones? No, I didn't. And I didn't eat any in the game either. It's so that's a no on both fronts. I do I didn't eat mushrooms in the game or in life. Oh, no, I did eat mushrooms for dinner. Just not they weren't like psychedelic or anything. I would that'd be cool if they were. I mean, <laughs> Nope, they were just portobello mushrooms sliced real real thin. And I'm talking thin. I'm talking like eighth of an inch thin. That's the only way I can really eat mushrooms. Like the, you know, the dinner kind. They gotta be sliced thin. If there's like a big chunk or like a whole mushroom that's cooked, they tend to get sort of like slimy type thing and I don't like that very much so if you slice them real thin like just an eighth of an inch or something they cook up better and they're not as like the consistency is not as bad that's a big deal texture and consistency the way the graphics were bugging oh yeah that's why I ate mushrooms that makes sense yeah the graphics are kind of bugging out a little bit <laughs> yeah hopefully that uh that will go away. See, there, there it goes again. Hopefully they'll patch that or... It is an early access game, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, and we all know that even finished, completed games aren't perfect a lot of times. So, yeah, they just need some time. Although that is a new thing. And I don't remember the game ever doing that before. The game has had some graphical problems in the past, but... They seem to all pretty much be fixed besides that new development there. But I think the game is still pretty. It's a pretty game. Oh, there they go. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty. Nice art style. 
the lighting in the game. Okay. Yeah, it's clipping a lot. It might be because I, I don't know, this is just a wild guess, but maybe because I added too many new, like, items to this world, so it's like having trouble keeping up. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I just... Alright, let's go ahead and put these away. Put the cloth bag back. Okay, I kind of want to run around in the dark area. Yeah, I respect. I've been. Hasgoth says he's been trying to build a game for a while. Really? You're a game designer? What kind of game is it, if you don't mind me asking? You don't have to answer, but uh, if it's a secret, secret, just say it's a secret. But I am curious. Because that's always been sort of like. Uh, I don't want to say like a dream of mine. Kind of. But I just always thought it would be cool. To, you know, design a game you've had an idea for for a long time. Because I've thought of some pretty cool games that I'd like to play. But I don't know how to make games. So, all right. Uh, this lighting is awesome to me. I mean, look at this. Even the way the, the torch swings, the light interacts with it. That's... That's pretty cool. <laughs> Come on, man. That's pretty cool. It's such a little stupid thing like that. <laughs> oh, game engine stuff and C++? Okay. I'm not super familiar with the, that. With the C++. I'm about to die. Dude's got sniper arm. Ah! <laughs> a chicken comes and pecks me for no good reason. Oh, well, I did walk close to his nest, so maybe that's why. Okay. First things first. Yeah, I mean, when you're that tired, you just go to sleep with your backpack on, right? Uh, I, I've never done that, but he did. Speaking of backpacks, I'm starting school again this fall. My gosh. It's been a long time since I've been in school. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so... We're in a pretty good place. We've been going for almost two hours. Let's see here. So I guess we have all these things already. Wow, okay. Been crafting my butt off. That's so funny. I remember this taking like so long back in the day. I say back in the day like it was years ago. No, I mean it was like a year ago. But yeah, when we first started playing this game, it was like, take me like three videos to get to this point. <laughs> but I also didn't know what was up. Can I get... I'm really curious to see how much these give you. Wow. So you can, like, harvest these, like, twice a day. Or once a day, or whatever it is. You You'd never need water in this game anymore. <laughs> and you can eat the... And you can plant more water plants. Okay. It's a good-looking little uh, base of operations for right now, I suppose. We got the new backpack on, which is awesome. I love the way that looks. I kind of want to craft the... Uh... Ooh. Well, I d yeah, I'm definitely going to upgrade to the black metal backpack and then to the Firefly backpack. I just hope that the Firefly backpack looks cooler than this one. Because I like the, the look of this torch a lot. That's really neat. I don't know how it's staying on that stick with me running all over crazy. Video game logic. Am I right? No? Okay. I, that's okay. I'm never right. So it's okay. Alright, uh, so the last thing I want to do. 
I want to check and see what the Explorer boat costs and then mine stuff for a couple minutes and then we'll end it. Simple, simple stuff. It is midnight my time. It's not quite as late in the morning as Mag's in the UK, but I do have to be thinking about getting some sleep because I do have an appointment with my academic advisor early in the morning. So I have to be at least a little bit awake for that. <laughs> All right. Boat crates, grabber arms. Oh, right. The boat motor. The boat motor is awesome. Especially after you kill Delbert. Because Delbert gives you like an infinite supply. Not an infinite supply, but like he gives you like 12,000 crystals, which is so much fuel because this uses crystal shards as fuel, which is kind of cool. So crystal shards are like the universal uh, currency slash fuel type in this world, which is awesome. It'd be cool if there was like one element in, in real life that was like, this is fuel, this is money, this is food, you can eat it, you can drink it. <laughs> that would be so cool if there was just one element for everything. Hopefully it would be abundant. But, uh, yeah, you know. All right. Pay attention now. Pay attention. So we need wood planks. Easy enough to get. We have probably plenty of wood already. Tree sap, nails, and seagrass. I mean, we, yeah. That's... The only thing that's tough is the nails because we have to find more iron. So... I, I'm pretty sure we have everything else, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll go mine some more seagrass for five minutes, and then uh, we'll end it. Carbon. Well, that's true. Hosgoth, you're smart. You're a smart horse. Sorry, it's it's now our inside joke, Hosgoth, that you are a horse because you said nay. So. You went along with the joke. <laughs> oh, no, but, uh, yeah, carbon is, it, why can't I break these? There we go, that's better. Yes. This is my horse, Hosgoth. He is a fine horse. He is smarter than I. He knows the periodic table. Yes. I do not. He did. Wait, wait, wait. My backpack went out. The torch went out. Oh, wait. Is it lighting itself? There's like little... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There's like little tiny sparks coming off the cage there. But the flame is out. Uh, is the flame going to come back on by itself? I don't know. What is that? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was like a fish. I'm like, what the heck kind of fish is that? Get some of these. Oh, yeah. Okay. It does light itself. That's kind of cool, though. It's cool that the, 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 the water can really put it out like it should. Doesn't really make sense that it would light itself back up, but you know, you can't have it be complete realism. All right, we're just gonna get a whole bunch of seagrass real quick. Thirty, 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 thirty. We'll go ahead and clear this out, and that'll be it. And then next time, we will build a boat, and we will go to some other islands. I know there's an island full of just shops and stuff, so we will go check that out. And we probably won't be able to fight Delbert in the next episode. Um, would you cut it out? Do you eat the seagrass? No. You're a freaking carnivore, aren't you, crab? 
He's like, they're just like, get off my beach. They're like old grumpy men. Get off my lawn. Did anybody have a neighbor like that when they were kids? I did. You just didn't go on that lawn. Nope. He would come out and he will tell you. It's almost like they just watch. They sit by the window and... Uh... Hello? So we got a glitch here. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end it. And hopefully when I boot my world back up, this will all be here and it will be fine. Hopefully, yes. Uh, <laughs> need to leave for hospital appointment. I'll catch the rest of it later. Take care. Thank you, Mags. Uh, always great to hear from you. Um, I hopefully that hospital appointment is uh, good, all good news things. Hopefully it's nothing bad. So, yes. I hope that it's all good things for you, Mags. And Hasgoth, thanks for being in here. Brian was in here for a split second. It's always nice to have people in the chat. Carter Crossing was there for a split second. So thanks a lot for being here, y'all. I am going to save the game. So we are... The world is Pelago. DG is the character for the delicious goodness. The seed number is that. Done. There we go. Well, y'all, thanks a lot for being here. You guys are awesome. It's always fun hanging out with uh, even like the small groups. Like I know for like for some people, it's like awkward being in the chat like all by yourself. But we have a good time. You know, I'm a I'm a very welcoming person. No negative energy here. All positive, good vibes. OK, so you just come on in the chat and we'll always have a good time. So, well, within reason, right? You can't just come in and be a dick. You just got to be. It's all good. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Good night, Hasgoth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone watching live. Even if you weren't in the chat, thanks for just being around. I love you guys. And everyone that watches after the fact, thank you so much. And from everyone else around, there's no one else in here. It's an empty room. It's this, what you see, is just part of a big room. You just can't see but there's so many other things. But it's completely dark everywhere else but on my face and behind me. So. Say goodbye to Joe Bender. They just hang out on the mic. And Joe Bender's Dalmatian dog. And this is where they sit. For those of you that haven't seen these yet. They just sit on the back of my mic. That's where they live. They're my newest desk toys. Love them. Love them. They're old, like, I don't know if they're vintage toys, but I don't think they make them anymore. Um, so they're not as easy to get. So it's a little fun little thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much. My name is Mike. This is The Delicious Goodness, and I'll see you guys. Oh, a little quick housekeeping real quick for those of y'all that are still tuning in. Uh, I have a trip coming up on Saturday. I will be gone from Saturday to Saturday. I'm going out to California to see my cousins and my family, and I will be there for a week. But I am going to try to record some things in advance and post them throughout the week like I did the not this previous week, but the week before. This previous week was crazy. Just couldn't justify sitting down for two, three hours at a time to play something. I was playing my Switch whenever I had a chance, but when it comes to like a live stream or like a long sit down playthrough, it's sometimes it's hard to find those back to back hours. That's why a lot of times it's at night. But so again, I will be continuing breakwaters um, pretty much up until we get to the point where I was in the last episode. So we'll have a base, a farm, uh, the flying boat, we will have killed Delbert, and then we will end the Breakwater's gameplays until they do further updates. Because I have played like 150 hours of this game, and it's not even out, and that not even all the features are out. 
So I just don't want to get burnt out on it as they release updates. I want to still be excited. So I'm going to do what they have to offer with these new updates, which we have seen many of them. The crabs now have crystals. There's a sickle. There's all these things. So it's fun to see the little differences. Um, but yeah, we will kill Delbert. We will get a flying boat. And uh, we will see what else they've added. And then after that, I will go back to some other games that I've got planned out. And uh, yeah. So tomorrow, I am going to... Um, play Xenoblade Chronicles again. So tomorrow night will be Xenoblade. And then Wednesday will be more of this. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to, to the... Uh... Thanks. Sounds good. Have fun in Cali, says Hasga. Thanks, Hasga. Yeah, I'm not going to, like, L.A. or anything. I'm going to Northern California in a little small town um, uh, right outside, like, the Redwoods. Uh, south of San Fran. No, no, no. North of San Fran. Almost to uh, uh, Oregon. It's in a small town, so that's where I'll be. So it'll be in the 60s, which I like. I like the 60s. It's hoodie weather. I love hoodie weather. And, yeah, we'll be hanging out near the Redwoods. So, anyways, thanks a lot. Y'all have a good night. Get some sleeps, unless it's morning where you're at, like Mags. Um... Yeah, that's it for me. Thanks a lot for being here, y'all. See you guys later.